Let's try our hand at solving two combinatorial problems that contain restrictions. In a group of 15 people, there are four brothers. A group of seven is to be chosen from these 15 people such that this group of seven contains exactly all four brothers. How many such groups of seven are there? Step one in this question is to understand that this is a combinatorial problem. Since we were not given any information about ordering or anything that could be related to ordering, this problem has nothing to do with ordering. It's all about combinations, so order does not matter. The second step, I guess, would be to understand what this question is asking. It's basically saying all four brothers have to be in this group of seven. So how many ways are there of choosing four brothers from among four brothers? Therefore, choose four ways, aka one. How many ways can we choose three other people to be in this group of seven? So if we start with 15, since we've chosen four people, there are now 15 minus four, 11 ways, 11 people left, and we wish to choose three people. So our answer is one times 11 choose three. There are 11 choose three ways, which is 11 times 10 times nine, divide by six ways that we can choose a group of seven such that all four brothers are in this group. Let's try our next question. In how many ways can 12 people be divided into two equal groups? So step one is to realize that this is a combination problem. So we're going to use combinations. Uh, step two will be to understand what the word equal means. Um, you know, grade five English, I guess. This just tells us that there are six people in each group. So let's start. How many ways can we choose six people out of 12 people? 12 choose six. After we choose the first six people, we want to choose the next six people. So how many ways can we choose six people from among six people? Um, that's six choose six. So we're tempted to say that there are a total of 12 choose six ways we can make two equal groups among 12 people. This is actually uh, not right. So let's suppose these are our 12 people, dot looking people. So in our first 12 choose six, we may have chosen these six people, and our next six to six, we may have chosen these six people. But what if our first six people chosen were these? Then our six to six would be these ones. But these are the exact same people, except one may be in group one, the other in group two, but that's still the same number of ways we can split 12 people into two equal groups. So to choose the left one, six first and then to choose the right six is the same as choosing right six and then choosing the left six. That's why we have to divide 12 to six by two. Because to choose one group first is as of choosing the other six people second. So if we have 12 to six divided by two ways. We can split 12 people into two equal groups. Actually, I'm going to write this as two factorial and you're going to see why. How many ways can we split 12 people into three equal groups? So if we start with 12, choose, well, three equal groups. That means there are four people in each group. 12 choose four. And then after we choose the first four people, let's choose the next four people. Eight choose four. And after that, let's choose the third next four people, which is four choose four. So it seems like there are 12 choose four, eight choose four, four choose four all multiplied together, number of ways we can make three equal groups. But similar to how we had a factorial when we were doing two equal groups, we're also going to have a factorial over here. And why is that? Because in our 12 people, let's say the 12 choose four chose these four people. And then the eight choose four chose these four people. And four choose four chose these four people. What if our 12 choose four started by choosing this pe these four, eight choose four, then chose this one, and four choose four chose this one. It's true, we chose them in a different order, but it's still the same three equal groups. So that's why uh, we have to divide by the total number of ways we can choose three items, which is three factorial. Thank you for watching.